When you are in the startup world, you have to have some mantra or some leading principle. And for me it was, if it was easy, everyone could do it. And to really make a change, you need to push through, you need to break through, you need to walk around or through obstacles to get done. If I'm never wrong, that means that I'm not taking enough chances. It's a great privilege, I think, to take something from an embryonic state, an idea, and then building out of it a business that may transform the industry, may transform people's lives. I think the one thing that I learned at Technion and was instilled in me that there's nothing too big, nothing too hard that I can conquer. It starts this pattern in your head where you're not afraid of hard things anymore and you know that you can do hard things. We took a very complex problem that no one wanted to handle and we just went directly to it and we solved it. And I think it is definitely a lot of that is, uh, for me personally, is what I learned at Technion. Some of my investments have really changed people's lives. These are companies that totally invented or reinvented the whole space. When I back a company, I'm the first man in. I really see my role as supporting them, giving them unconditional love and supporting them in building something out of nothing. You have a hunch and sometimes you're right, sometimes you're not. But again, it's not like there is a recipe. I'm looking for people who are able to function in a very uncertain environment and have leadership skills and have convictions. I look for people who really know what they want. You want to empower them, but at the end of the day, you want them to go and be independent. The Technion really gave me a strong technical skill foundation. It gave me a very good understanding of technology, how it works at every level an understanding of all the layers, how it all works together, which very few people today really have a real sense. What is this problem that you're going to solve? There's only a handful of companies ever in history to build payroll systems from scratch, and we're one of them. My dad is a small business owner, and I used to really help him out in the store. We set out to basically go and recreate the most reliable, most automatic payroll system so as a business owner, instead of like worrying about taxes and filings and thinking about all that stuff in the back of your hand, you can completely forget about it because we automate the entire thing. I just have this fire. Like I just really wanna, just want to, yeah, you know, to build things and see people use those things. And I wanna feel like I cracked a problem that was worthwhile. It's not about the money, it's about the problem. It's about like fixing something that's broken in this world with technology. I just really love doing that. It makes me happy, it makes me tick and I just never want to do anything else. Technion gives you the technical competency to know or to gauge that the product that you're developing is the right product and allows you to estimate the probability of success. We are developing devices that can open block arteries without leaving anything behind. Our long-term goal is to displace those permanent implants, those stents, and allow people, after angioplasty procedure, to go home without any piece of metal left in the heart. We are fighting the convention, we are fighting the institution. Stents has been there for close to 20 years, and here we are saying it doesn't have to be the case. There's another way to do it. It's on the verge of being stubborn. For me, it's the ability to mix the perseverance with flexibility. And I think a lot of it comes from the Israeli mentality. A lot of it comes from the Technion.
if you have a dream and you are determined to make it happen, you can make it happen. I really owe my professional career and business success to the uh, very good start that I had from the Technion. I'm very proud to be a Technion alum.